here today, our poor Bear Bears. So Bear has a bump under his chin. It started out as a cyst, and now it's getting bigger. So we're gonna see if it's just filled with fluid or something like that. So we are on to the vet. And this is the traffic to get to the veterinarian. It's completely at a standstill. It's down to one lane on this busy highway because of construction. We gotta get to our appointment. All right, we made it to the vet clinic. Let's have him go potty, Jess. It took an hour to get here because of the traffic. He's like, I smell dogs. Boy bear bears. Are you getting excited already? Do you need help, Jeff? Bear bears is excited to see his doctor. Oh. This is where we are. Meadow Brook Animal Hospital. Here with Bear. Okay. Oh, 
here. I'm gonna go grab Dr. Mari and then we'll be back and we'll okay. check it out, okay? Do y'all need a water or something? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Mari. Hi. Thank you for waiting. Oh, sure. Is Bear? Yeah. Hi, bud. It took us an hour to get here anyway. 380 is like just packed. Is it? I was on my drive here. It's crazy. Just normal traffic or is it? Uh, no, construction down the lane. It's great. You look happy. You wiggle your whole back. I know. So otherwise he feels fine? Yeah. I know this boy. But that thing has just I grown that. huge. Let's find out what it is. Hi, can I look? I know, sorry, that was really close to that. Oh boy. I know, I know. It's very much. Okay, good job. Yeah, you do have my ears. That looks good. Appetite energy level, mm -hmm. okay. Great. Has he been to the vet in the past year? Like has he had shots? Oh, we have moved. No, not recently. We moved here last December, and before that, he had gotten his shots. Lungs sound good. All his lymph nodes feel good, including the lymph nodes around this lung. Um, but to check and see what it is, whether it's a, an abscess or some kind of tumor type growth, okay. um, th I will poke it mm -hmm. and look at what cells I get under the microscope. Okay. Usually that tells me, you know, something potentially concerning that we should remove surgically mm -hmm. to find out exactly mm -hmm. what it is, or like a fatty lump that is no big deal, or an abscess that we can treat with medicine. Okay. There's a couple kinds of specific masses that I could say immediately this is the kind of growth or tumor uh -huh. it is, but most of the time it's just concerning or not concerning. Okay. But it's still the first step in seeing what it is. And mommy, when I touch it, I think you're gonna be able to sit right here. But... <clears throat> yeah, I thought originally maybe uh, we have a Shih Tzu also. Okay. Maybe she, you know, was playing too rough this yeah. summer and it just, but it didn't go away and it, it stayed the same size. What for? However long that's been, and then yeah, all of a sudden it just like. Boom. But a couple months it just looked smaller? Yeah, it didn't really change, and then just recently it grew really fast. Tumor, then normally I see a bunch of tumor cells. Mm -hmm. And on both the stains, the slides that we stained, all these ones that look like donuts almost, mm -hmm. those are all red blood cells. Okay. And all the ones with the little squiggly, the purple ones that have the light on the outside and the squiggly on the inside, like there, 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 those are all white blood cells. And there's a ton of them, so a bunch of inflammation. All the little flecks in the background is all bacteria. Mm. And there's even some of these giant white blood cells that have some of the little, yeah, I can see better on mm -hmm. my microscope, but they have some of the little flecks inside that are eating the bacteria. So hopefully it is just a really bad abscess. Okay. Um, I would say really bad just because it's been there a while. Yes. Yeah. The, the other thing is that sometimes it's just an abscess. When I poke it, then I can drain a lot of the fluid out. Mm -hmm. So after I poked it the first time with kind of a small needle, since I got some fluid, I poked it with the biggest needle that I had, mm -hmm. and I still didn't get a lot out. So that was okay. our best chance of getting stuff out of it without doing like a real surgery where we have them sedated and I open yeah. it up and get everything out. So hopefully we won't have to do that. Okay. I'm gonna put them on two medicines. One's an antibiotic and the other's an anti-inflammatory. Okay. And it's kind of a hearty antibiotic. Like I don't expect it to upset the stomach, not that kind of hearty, but just to get specifically the kind of bacteria that I'm seeing under the microscope. Okay. Any diarrhea or anything that's I don't expect it. Okay. If, if he had any signs like that, I would expect it to be from the anti-inflammatory. Okay. I, the antibiotic that he needs for that bacteria is, I don't know how much it is for his size, but I just know it's a more expensive antibiotic. Okay. So the anti-inflammatory, okay. I made the cheaper anti-inflammatory, the cheapest okay. one I could. They're both once a day. Okay. Um, if you come with food, that lessens the chance of any stomach upset. And ideally, you finish those off, give it till there, 
then we could check it again to see if we took care of any secondary okay. infection. It looks like something else, but then so I will worry more that yes, it should try it. And if it's not gone with medicine, then that's what I'm worried. We're going to have to actually lance it open and flush it out to get everything. Yeah. But hopefully the medicine works from the inside out. Okay, awesome. Okay, good job, sounds bye. good. It's much better than what it could have been. Mm -hmm. So once a day, and how long is it for? Two oh, weeks. Oh, just two weeks. Just okay. two weeks. Yep. And I expect it to be better okay. by then if it's going to help. You're very sweet. Mm -hmm. You tell your Shizu sister <laughs> to leave that alone. <laughs> okay. So yeah. should we wait? Can, can we have the rabies today? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Make it up. I love this animal hospital. It's so comforting, a little old school. They were kind and gentle with Bear. Bear loved it, didn't you? Did you love it, Bear? So we have him on some medicine and we're hoping within two weeks that his abscess that he has under his chin is going to decrease in size so that he does not have to have any kind of surgery to remove it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that like button and also click on the notifications bell if you would like to get updates on every time that we have a new video come out. It will give you an update with that bell. So the exam was free today because of Bear being a new patient, but look at this medicine in right there, $92 for this uh, antibiotic that's supposed to hopefully help his bump. So $171.64, not bad for a veterinarian price. Again, I love this clinic because it was more old school. It wasn't all fancy with new medical technology because they probably would have charged me at least $300 if we would have been at an upgrade, totally brand new vet clinic. So I love these guys. I'm going to be bringing my bird, Tawny, in to get some blood work done in a couple months. And I will update you on how Bear is doing.